It's Roger Mudfoster University. In a couple of minutes today, I'm going to go over some things about the dragon and some new evidence, fabulous new evidence from Carl Smith, who is a fabulous contributor to Mudfoster University. I'm asking for everybody's help. Just like Carl brought in some, <laughs> he comes in with some great stuff. And um, what we need is for everybody to come together and try to find real clues. I want real evidence of the texts and, and, and so forth, and like the coins that Carl presented today, that really show the truth that they knew what was going on. So, in that, you have to share this with everyone, otherwise you're going to be sitting around by yourself knowing this and you're going to, everybody's going to laugh at you. So share this one, it's very short, if they don't watch it, go your way. If they watch it and don't see it, go your way. If they don't care, go your way. If they like it, engage. Roger Mudfossil University, within a minute or so, I'm going to show you the dragon and the fish, which this is the fish, you all have Google Earth, these are the scales, these are the fins, that's the tail, above it is a dragon that was attacking the fish and ate into its vital flesh, right there, okay, so now we have the fish, we have his being attacked, above it is the venom that comes from dragons it appears it's identical to the most noxious of fish of um, snake venoms then we go up into the dragon itself which is here and that's his head and that is the fluty stuff that goes down their sides this is his throat and that is where the stuff came from and these are the injectors in his throat that mixes those toxic cocktail and shoots it out to set people on fire and things like that. This is his dragon scaled throat, which you can easily see the dragon scales, and it runs for miles and miles and miles. These are the platelets that are on the side of his throat. These are the pads that allow for the flexibility. This dragon was killed with some possibly great and mighty sword, as it says in Isaiah 27.1, and this is the effluent of a, a dead decomposing body laying in the desert running for 1,000 miles over almost into the Mediterranean. Now, they knew about these dragons in ancient history because of this, and then I will leave it at that sent to me my good, by my good friend Carl, they obviously knew something back then. Once again, the source Carl, looks like the same sort of thing, dragging over a fish. 